everyone today for art at home with miss lipscomb we're going to be working on watercolor flowers we are still in gardening week and so we're going to be working on this last gardening project you're going to need a white sheet of paper a brown sheet of paper and a green sheet of paper you're also going to need glue it can be hot glue or regular glue and you're going to need paint you're also going to need a paint plate as well as water to create your watercolor you're going to need scissors that you will use with a parent, as well as a marker. First, we're going to start off by taking our brown sheet of paper. We're going to take our scissors and cut strips out of the paper about an inch wide. You're going to continue this until the paper is completely cut. You're going to go ahead and put these strips of paper together and begin, begin cutting small rectangles out of them. They should look like this. Next we're going to take our green paper and do the same thing as far as starting and cutting strips about an inch wide. After you complete your strips you're going to do the same thing, put them all together and begin cutting them into squares. So these are going to be a bit larger than the brown papers that we cut. Next we're going to take our white sheet of paper and begin gluing on the dirt and the stems to the plant. So go ahead and take some glue and you're going to spread it across the bottom of your white paper about a third from the bottom. Go ahead and begin sprinkling on the brown pieces of paper. Make sure you completely fill in the bottom and this is going to be your dirt. When you're done, go ahead and sprinkle the leftovers off and go ahead and put them to the side. Next, we're going to work on the stems for the flowers. So go ahead and take glue and you're going to glue a line that represents the plant stem. You're going to do a few of these, maybe three to four of them. When you complete that, you're going to take the green pieces of paper and begin gluing them on top of the glue. After you complete this part, you can also begin taking glue and adding stem, adding little leaves on your stems. Just like this. And there you should have it. Now you're going to put that to the side so that it can dry a little bit. And you're going to begin working on your watercolor. So go ahead and create the colors that you would like. I'm going to blend red and blue and I'm going to add a little bit of water to make my watercolor purple. And you're going to redo this step for all the colors that you choose. Go ahead and put that to the side and we're going to take our picture and take your marker and begin drawing the outline of your flowers. I've begun doing drawings of roses as well as many other flowers, but you can draw the flowers exactly how you would like them to be. After you complete this, go ahead and take your watercolor and begin painting the flowers your chosen color. You can paint the flowers one full color or you can do a bit of an ombre effect where you can do them two different colors. And here's the ombre effect. For this flower, I decided to do part of it blue and another part blue for the other flower and then I'm going to take yellow and fill in the rest of the flower with yellow. 
This gives it the ombre effect of it being two different colors, but they're blending. You can also add different details by adding another color to the previously painted color, giving it a more of a 3D look. And when you're done, you're going to let it dry and you should have your watercolor flowers. Great job today, guys. Have a great weekend and I will see you on Monday for Art at Home with Miss Lipscomb.